the Métis families saw themselves as, as distinct. Uh, they were different. They had their own language. They, um, they had different cultural um, practices. Since the early 1800s, Northwestern Ontario has been home to a vibrant Métis community. Born of the fur trade, Métis families were located throughout Northwestern Ontario. They worked at trading posts, traveled to First Nations camps to trade furs, and could often be found visiting other Métis families along the waterways of Lake of the Woods, Rainy River, and Rainy Lake. My uh, ancestors were voyagers, they were traders, they worked at the Hudson Bay posts. They were trappers, they were bush cutters, they were fishermen, people of the land. The Métis developed a distinct culture and way of life. They had close relationships with First Nations in Northwestern Ontario. They traded with them, traveled and hunted with them, and often married amongst them. But the lives of Métis and First Nations would be forever changed as Canada made plans to open the West to settlers. First, it would need to secure the lands and waters of Northwestern Ontario before it could expand to Red River and beyond. In the 1870s, Canada began treaty negotiations with First Nations in the region. Métis interpreters, including Nicholas Chatelaine and George McPherson, assisted at the negotiations. However, government policy did not allow them to participate in treaty making as a distinct people. They were different. They did not um, think it was appropriate for them to sign the treaty or join the treaty as First Nations. Um, and, but they knew they were different than uh, non-Aboriginal people. Uh, so and in, in order to kind of settle that issue, um, the First Nations who signed the treaty said, we have these group of families, they're half-breeds, and we would like them to sign the treaty also. But the chiefs were unsuccessful. When Treaty 3 was signed on October 3, 1873, the Métis were not included. Over the next two years, the Métis, led by Nicolas Chatelain, worked tirelessly to secure their rights with the Canadian government. Eventually, in 1875, they were successful. On September 12th, Nicolas Chatelain signed an adhesion to Treaty 3 on behalf of the half-breeds of Rainy River and Rainy Lake. The Treaty 3 adhesion promised the Métis reserved lands, annuities, and presents, the same benefits given to First Nations under the original treaty. More importantly, the adhesion was the first and only time in Canadian history that a collective Métis community was able to gain recognition under treaty as a distinct people. Their descendants remain in Northwestern Ontario today. The Métis way of life is the life that my family has been living for generations. And it's a connection to the land that has gone back for generations. My Métis ancestors were born in this area, lived in this area, have died in this area, and we're still in this area.